we go. Three cameras running. I'm gonna do this now. Okay, these two. Clear! So, my audio is being picked up by this camera back here. I get to talk to you guys there. Strut cam out there. It's in a different position. I'm wondering if I like this one better. You guys tell me if you like it better. And now I don't have the head cam, but what I can do is take this off and point it at whatever it is that I wanted to show you. And then I can just plop it back on real quick like and talk back at you. So that's my plan for cameras. Those will be my like primary cameras and then I'll throw like a a secondary one on somewhere and that's actually not the case right it would be primary secondary tertiary and quaternary and i'll put the quaternary one out somewhere didn't think you'd be learning math terms today did you you guys really enjoy this taxi out and run up don't know why i'm talking i probably won't even leave it in we saw traffic ultra light mike echo mike positioning runway three one for departure which talk oh that sounds weird i'll have to turn off that side tone on there oh and there's deer on the runway all right, I guess I'm going to do a uh, clear the runway maneuver first. There he goes. Perfect. All right, back to the beginning. All right, so flight controls are free and correct. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing the circuits today. Just practicing. If it's boring, again, you won't see it. If it's cool, maybe you will. Maybe I'll put it up anyway for those weirdos that like watching me do circuits. But I'm going to be practicing because I haven't been, haven't had a whole lot of practice doing landings in this thing yet. So that's my plan. I'm going to start off with some normal takeoffs and landings, and then I'll do some short field and then some soft field, and we'll go from there. Woodstock traffic, Mike Echo Mike departing, 3 1 remaining in the pattern, Woodstock. So first up, normal takeoff. off of the uh, baggage compartment. All right, here we go. Now, I'm working into a complete power off landing, but I don't know how well this thing glides yet. Uh, it doesn't glide very well yet, so I'm still trying to figure out where my, uh, key, my um, key points will be. I think this is going to be power off, looking, judging from it anyway. I'm going to do flaps up on this one. Voice our traffic, Mike Echo Mike, final 3-1, stop and go, Woodstock. Oh, then again, maybe not. Thinks like a rock. Yeah, see, if the snow wasn't here, I'd be all set. Oh, yeah, I got her. There we go. 
goes down, and then breaks on. Okay, so that was a complete power-off landing. I mean, engine was at idle, of course, but... We'll start driving Mike Echo Mike back, Jack, in 3-1. Okay, so, another normal takeoff. We start traveling, Mike Echo Mike, departing 3-1, remaining in the pattern, which dock. the ultralight pattern still, even with the zenith, I am just more comfortable with a small plane that doesn't glide very well being very close to the runway, so that's uh, the reasoning for that. And let's keep it at 60. Oh yeah, we're way too high. That's okay. It'll come down. This will be, uh, no, this will be a stop and go. I'll just use the last half of the runway. Pay for it all, might as well use it all. There we go. Another normal takeoff. All right, now we're going to go with some flaps on this one. Not quite perfect. Didn't love that. I think I got the normal takeoff nailed, so let's start doing some soft field. We're gonna go with the flaps. Stick all the way back. Not so far that the tail hits the ground though, because it will if you're not careful. But we're not gonna come to a stop. We're gonna pretend this is soft, soggy sod. Say that five times fast. We're not worried about center line on this one. We just want to not get stuck in the mud, so we come around, and as soon as we're pointing the correct way, power comes up. There we go. There's the nose. Not too, there we go, we're off the ground. Keep it in ground effect. Build some air speed. Once we're above the trees, we should be able to retract our flaps. There we go. And then climb out at normal climb. Yeah. Got to work on those flap landings, I guess. Holy. Oh, right, we'll keep the flaps down. I'm going to do another soft field. Alright, let's do a soft field landing. That means I'm going to come in with some power. I'm going to try to touch down nice and gently like. That means I'm going to come a little further out. Quite a bit further out. Bring my power back a little bit. Alright, get into my flap range here. So the, uh, situation is we're landing on soft, soggy sod. So I want to touch down as gently as possible so the main gear doesn't dig in, slam the nose down, and flip the plane over. 
do. Typically want to come in with some power. Yeah, that wasn't good. I need a bit more power. I think I'm okay with my soft fields though, so while I'm going to continue practicing soft field landings, I'm going to do a short field takeoff. Alright, so there's the brakes on full. I want to keep my stick neutral. Max power, brakes off, straight with the rudder. I mean, all of the takeoffs on this are short field. I mean, I don't think that was any shorter than my regular runs. All right, let's try another soft field. Not used to that throttle yet. All right, let's try a short field with all the flaps down, and we'll climb out at best angle, like it's an obstacle clearance takeoff. So I want to climb out at my best angle, which is I think 40 in this plane. I think I'll just rotate around 30 and let it climb out at where it climbs out, and we'll see what it's, how she does. All right, so same thing. Ball power, brakes are on. Half brakes off. Yeah, I think climbing out of 30 works pretty good. That was fairly steep, I think. And then we can relax the pressure, bring the flaps up, and climb out at our normal speed. All right, let's practice that. Uh, off field again, see if I can figure it out. That's better. Still got that nose wheel down sooner than I wanted to, but I was much happier with that. All right, I gotta do that soft field one more time, then I'll do a short field, see if I can stop by the taxiway. That was a better short field. There goes the sun, da, 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 da. there goes the sun, I say, I'm about to get really cold. The uh, sun coming in through all this glass makes this cockpit nice and warm. It does have cockpit heat, which does help significantly, but the sun helps a whole lot too. All right. Come on now, you can get this smooth. I had that stick all the way back and that nose wheel still came down like that. I wasn't perfectly straight either, so. That might be just as smooth as you can get on pavement with these big tires. They have so much gription. They hit the uh, hit the pavement and kind of rotate the plane forward. I'm sure. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I I, I went to look at my struck camera to talk to you guys. I forgot you're right here. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get on the ground and stop before the taxiway. So this one's not going to be smooth. It's going to be rough. I don't like doing these ones a lot. Actually, I do. There's just hard on the tires and hard on the brakes, so I don't do them a whole lot. 
All right, let's see how quick I can get off the ground, and then how quick I can get back on the ground. So we're going to start right at, I know I'm not in the center line, that's okay. Right at the end of the numbers, because I can see those on Google Maps. And I'll build a measure. All right, so brakes on full. Uh, do you want my flaps down? Because I want to get off the ground as quick as possible. Let's see. Off before the taxiway. Nice. Now can I get back down before the taxiway? That'll be the question. So I want to come in somewhere around 40, maybe even 35. And while that seems pretty slow, stall doesn't really happen until I get to 25, so I'm not particularly worried about stalling. And I will be careful, of course. Flaps in, runway's in sight, no one's on final. All right. How slow can you go? Pull up trim. Help ease the stick pressures. Come in at 45 to start. Get my feet up on the brakes, ready to go. Get her down to 40. Now that we're in close, we'll feel her sink. Yeah, I'm going to have to learn how to do that smoother. <laughs> Woodstock traffic, Mike Echo Mike, clear runway 31, Woodstock. All right, well, that was uh, some circuit fun with Matt. Let me know if you guys like that or not down in the comments. Let me know what kind of flying videos you'd like to see with the new plane, and uh, I'll see what I can do to accommodate that. Probably have to wait for a bit warmer weather before we start uh, venturing off field into some farm roads and hay fields and whatnot. But uh, spring is coming and no summer. Thanks for coming along on that. Let me know what you think and. Um, We'll see you next time.